Yo, you guys, Jake Espoon here from Arcworks of Scanhead, and we're going to animate this beautiful picture, guys, of Wolverine versus Captain America. Observe the final output. Wow, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna animate the picture to be something like this. Pretty awesome. So Wolverine is moving, Captain America is also moving, guys. Pretty amazing. So we're gonna do this by using After Effects and also Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna use the pen tool, guys. We're gonna remove um, Wolverine and Captain America. So that's right. That's the basic thing we're gonna do with this. So tanggalin po natin si Wolverine by using the pen tool. Yeah. And once we're done removing Wolverine and Captain America, we're gonna paste that in a new layer. Yep, so um, for me to um, focus on Captain America, I'm going to disable the visibility of Wolverine and then proceed with Captain America. Once we are done, we have now a hollow background. So we're gonna patch the background, guys, to cover those empty parts. Okay, we're gonna use the um, very amazing tool um, that you can find in Photoshop, the Edit Fill Content. Just select the parts that you want to um, add a content on it. Okay, just like that, and click OK, and we have a very awesome output. So do not select the entire um, hollow parts of the background, just, you know, bits by bit, pieces by pieces, because there's an algorithm for that, guys. And okay, we don't want to ruin it. Okay, so if you're not contented, you may copy a part of it and then use the um, clone stamp and also the uh, smudge tool, fill and brush, everything. Okay, now we have a very nice background. Okay, so once we're done with that, let's start with Wolverine. There's an empty parts, okay, or in the pieces of his leg and his torso, and we're gonna fix that. So to do that, we're gonna use the uh, fill content, and if not, if you're not contented with that, you can also add a, um, a layer on that area, and then we're gonna just use um, a color, okay, and then after that, we're gonna apply the clone stamp. So clone stamp is really a pretty pretty useful here so you're gonna use the clone stamp and also the healing brush that's it and to make things right and perfect we can also copy a portion from his other leg and then paste it and then use the uh, perspective warp and then clone stamp again
So once we're done, we can proceed with Captain America. Okay, the same thing. And now, once we're done, we can anim remove the parts of the character that we want to animate, such as the arms, the head. Okay, so you have to plan it well. So here, I'm going to remove the arm and also the head of Wolverine. Okay, and put these parts in a new layer. Okay, in separate layers, of course. And then try to cover the hollow the empty parts of his body that's it very simple do the same thing with Captain America So I'm going to cut the uh, left and the right arms of Captain America. Now let's move on to creating the dust. Just, just copy a portion from the background and then put that and then we're gonna use the uh, sponge tool. Okay, put those tiny, uh, tiny uh, portion of the background in a new layer and replicate it as many times as you like. Then use the sponge tool so that you can have different forms and sizes. Then you can also apply warp and perspective so that you have this amazing you know moving dust okay something like that okay so we're almost done let's move on to our um after effects okay just import guys the uh clip then after that we're gonna um pre-compose the uh the Wolverine and also the uh, Captain America okay so we're gonna pre-compose them don't forget also to assign parent for our uh, for the Wolverine parts and also Captain America's that's it you have to assign parent for uh, you assign those parts to the body of our, our uh, characters okay now let's animate okay so we're gonna use guys the uh, panning tool okay so click that Y click Y on your keyboard and then once you're done you can proceed with the puppet pen tool so here we can add what parts or what area from the character that you want to move so if you have this pen it will create also um, a layer on your 
uh, timeline and that's where you can add movements so that's it the left and the right arms we're gonna add some pen tools in that I mean puppet pens okay so I'm gonna add puppet pens for the left and the right arm okay assign movements in the timeline and then I can also add in the head so again it's the same procedure guys but again don't forget first thing you have to adjust the panning to that to the puppet pen tool Same thing, we're gonna add a uh, puppet pin for our dust to animate it, and you may apply also transform, um, scale, position, rotate all those features that you can find, guys, in your After Effects. Play around with it, and once you're done, you may proceed with the background. Okay, so for the background, I simply use a scale, so I uh, change the scale, okay. And that's it so I, another thing that we can play around guys is the 3d you can also adjust 3d the final output of this project I use 3d guys but it will take time for me to show you how I did it so I'm just going to share it to you that I'm using 3d in this um, output so just obs uh, explore your the features of your after effects and add that on your characters and also on your background so that you can have a magical output of your project so we're almost done and uh, that's it see the movement pretty awesome and let's check the final output beautiful so that's the result guys pretty amazing you can see Wolverine cross growing and also the movement of Captain America beautiful
So there you have it guys, Jake is here from Artwork with Scanhead and more like this. Just tell me what character you like to that we're going to animate. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.